Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Perez. Today we're going to be talking about the life cycle of a butterfly. So a life cycle means that uh, you're talking about the stages of a living thing uh, and what it goes through during its lifetime or its lifespan. So this book is called Monarch Butterfly by David M. Schwartz. Orange and black wings flutter over a field on a sunny summer day. They are the bright wings of a monarch butterfly. The monarch flies from flower to flower. It stops to rest for just a moment. Then it is off again. The butterfly has laid an egg on a milkweed plant. The egg is about the size of a pencil point. It sparkles in the sunlight like a tiny jewel. This is the first stage in the life of a new monarch butterfly. A few days later, the egg looks darker. The head of a caterpillar is pushing through the thin shell. The caterpillar is also called a larva. It will crawl out of the egg and onto the plant. The caterpillar begins eating the moment it hatches. The first thing it eats is the eggshell. It just left. After that, it eats only one thing, milkweed leaves. The caterpillar eats and grows until it can no longer fit inside its tiny skin. It must molt or shed its skin. It leaves its old skin behind and crawls away in a new, looser skin. The caterpillar will molt four or five times in about two weeks. Then something amazing happens. The caterpillar stops crawling. It even stops eating. Instead, it hangs upside down from its hind legs. Its skin splits and slides up. Underneath is a hard case. The caterpillar is beginning its next life stage. It is now called a chrysalis or pupa. At first, the chrysalis is pale green with gold dots. Then the hard case slowly becomes clear inside. It becomes clear. Inside, you can see that the pupa's body has changed. It is turning into an adult butterfly. You can see the butterfly in there, the transformation. The chrysalis splits and a monarch butterfly crawls out. Its wings are damp and crumpled. They straighten as, the, as they slowly fill with blood. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours at it, as its wings dry and stiffen. Then it flies off. Like its parents, this monarch visits milkweed flowers to feed on nectar. It has gone through all four stages of its life life cycle, egg, larva, pupa, and adult, in about a month's time. These changes are called metamorphosis. Now, new female butterflies will lay their eggs on milkweed plants and the monarch life cycle will continue. There is the adult monarch butterfly. Can you put these in order? Which one do you think would be first? Can you find the one that comes first? Okay, let's check to see if you were able to put these pictures in the correct in the correct order. We start with the egg, the caterpillar or larva, the chrysalis, also known as the pupa. Here we can see the transformation happening inside of the chrysalis. Then we're going to see the adult butterfly starting to emerge, and here it is, the mature adult butterfly. Okay, so we're going to review very quickly what we just talked about. Here is the butterfly life cycle, boys and girls. Remember, we start with the egg. The adult butterfly will lay eggs. Then the eggs hatch into a caterpillar or a larva right here. Now in that stage, that's the eating stage, the caterpillar will be eating and eating and growing. And then the cycle continues. Now we're over here at the chrysalis stage. The caterpillar is gonna form 
into a chrysalis right here, also known as the pupa. This is the transformation stage. In here, in the chrysalis, is where the transformation or metamorphosis is happening. And then, as we continue through the life cycle, we're going to end here with the adult butterfly. Here is where the adult butterfly will emerge. Now this is an insect, so when you're talking about an adult insect, it's going to have the three body sections. It will have six legs, the two antenna, and of course this uh, insect, the butterfly, does have wings as well. And so once again, the cycle will repeat itself. Okay, cycles do repeat itself. So the adult butterfly will once again lay the eggs and then the whole cycle will repeat itself again. Okay, so this is the butterfly life cycle. Now, for your activity for today, boys and girls, you are going to do something very similar to what you see on this paper. It is on the lesson plan in the learning board. You can use pasta. You can check or have your parents help you maybe find some of this pasta in the pantry, in your kitchen pantry. Using a paper plate or on a piece of paper, you can create the life cycle of the butterfly. We're going to start with the egg, and you might not be able to see it, but these are like little specks of rice. Then the caterpillar, we can form it using pasta, like the, the twisty kind of pasta. And then uh, the chrysalis was made out of a shell pasta here. That's going to be your pupa chrysalis. And then for the butterfly, we are, you're going to be using a bow tie pasta. Okay, so for your activity today, you can use pasta and try to recreate the life cycle of a butterfly. Thank you, boys and girls, and we'll see you later.